What's going on, YouTube fam? Welcome back to another salt water pond adventure video. Back out in the beautiful intercoastal waters of South Carolina. We're already out on the water. We got the boat out, ready to go. Got our crab pots ready to go. No intro shots of me in the shower or eating food, randomly talking about nothingness. We're out here just ready to go. So the first order of business are crab pots. We are going to drop these down. Got some fresh sheep's head from the last video. Ah. Boy, I really packed that in. What I've done is, is I have the mouth facing upwards. That way, they'll try to pick around the jaw, which nothing much will come off, but the main meat will stay suspended in the middle of the trap, which is what we want. All right, that was rather tedious. Down she goes. There we go. Awesome. First pot out. Let's go get the second one set. Sweet, another trap ready. This is a little bit shallower when this is all said and done. This is gonna be probably only in about three feet of water at the best. There you go, two traps set. Both sides of the pier. We'll give it a go, see what happens. impressed by the boat like I was looking at that thing I was like oh my gosh that is a nice boat and when I saw the waves like there was a moment of just pure terror and then I was thought I gotta I like I, now is not the time to wimp out like I gotta hit this and I gotta go at it with both barrels otherwise like <laughs> it, it's not gonna be good like if I don't if I don't screw my courage to the sticking point here we're gonna it could get worse so the other problem was i had my uh my throttle locked on high so i didn't have enough time to unscrew it and unlock it oh my gosh well the boat held up everything stayed on i can't say the same though about my skeletal frame oh i'm gonna be feeling that one for days holy cow Shoo! all right y'all check this out i have one of these little crab traps which has all the lines hanging off of it and they're little hoop lines and what's supposed to happen is is you leave the hoops out and then when the crabs scuttle up to the trap their legs get caught in that so when you pull it that hoop pulls tight around their legs in this instance though i'm just using it as bait to attract the crabs so we can get them with our net i'm gonna throw this out in the shallows see if we can get the crabs to come around it and then hopefully We'll just net them up. I don't know, I've never done this before. I just kind of got this wild idea sitting at home actually. So we'll give it a try. Let's do, let's see what we can do with that. Here we go. I'm literally gonna just throw it like right almost on the bank, but I'm gonna just drop it in just a little bit like that. Just so it's slightly submerged. And let's see if we get any crabs coming up to it. In fact, the top of the trap is just a little bit out of the water. That's kind of perfect. I'm gonna just kind of hang back here. I actually already see a little crab right down there. But let's see if we get other crabs skeetily dooting up to it. There's a crab right there. There's one right there. I think he's heading for the bait. I see another little one right there. Wow, that was fast. I've already got a crab there. Now that might be a keeper right there. So what we're gonna do, let's get a little closer. We can just net him up. Oh, no, there he goes. Ugh. Got him, got him, ha! All right, let's back off. Back off, we got a crab. That is awesome. Check it out. We'll dump him out on the deck. 
this net is perfect because they get all kind of tangled up in it there we go hey our first blue crab uh, he's missing a claw i don't know if he'll go five. Ooh, almost got me hey get back in. oh you know what actually i brought tongs this time there's another crab at the bait already it's another crab at ha gotcha you little squirt let's see does he go five Oh, you know, I've got this cooler right here. That's right at five. We got a five incher on our first one. <laughs> Drop them right in. There you go. We'll get them some water here in a minute. Let me set all this over here. I think we've got another crab already, though. Yeah, I do. I've got one over there already. Let's go. Let's go. Looks like it might be a keeper, too. Come here. Oh, look, there's another crab right over there. They're coming out of the woodwork for this. Come here, you. No, 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 no. Gotcha. Ha ha. Psych. Another one. Now, this one might be a little small. Ha ha. Well, it's working. It's working. What is this guy? Yeah, this one's about four and three quarters, so a little small. Toss him back. That meat's bringing him in, though. And we can literally just like move kind of up and down and just find different areas and see if we can draw the crabs out. I mean, that's two crabs in like in like two, three minutes. And I see another crab right over there. And I could just hang back, just wait. In fact, you know what? We might do that actually, what we're gonna do. Let's do this. Let's move down the bank just a little bit. Got a little crab. Oh, there's another crab right there. Hold up. No, come back here. We want to measure you up. There's a little crab on the bait. And then there's this guy. Oh, getting caught in the mud. Did I get him? Did I just get a bunch of mud? Just got a bunch of mud. Oh, there's one. There's a nice one right there. He's on the bait. That's a keeper on the bait right there. Yes, got him. Got him. <laughs> yes, another one. I guarantee you that's a keeper. Kind of hard to grab them because of all this mud you can almost get caught up in the mud it's awesome with the bait being out of the water a little bit because you see them come up to it you know then you can see them down there i think that's the one we just missed look at that male crab male crab on the deck hey, you stay right there measure up on the cooler Oh yeah, that'll go six right there. And another keeper. Ha! This is awesome. I can't like I thought it would work, but you never know. There you go. We'll get some water in there for him in just a second. Here, I'll flip you over. How about that? That one's got nice claws on it. Real nice claws on it. That's gonna taste good. We'll give this a couple more minutes here and then we'll just keep moving down the bank. Let's try this point right here. Looks like it could be pretty good. Same thing. Almost like throw it up on land a little bit and then just kind of just drag it right about there. Perfect. Look at that. I mean, literally maybe 60 seconds. I've already got a crab on the bait. Now, it looks a little small. Oh, there comes a nicer one right there. Right there. Oh my gosh. It is amazing the crab sense of smell. Like, that is incredible. Look at that. The bigger one just chased the smaller one off. Let's go pick us up a crab right here. Got him. Ha ha. The little one's like, thank you. Look at that. That might be another keeper right there. Might be another keeper. Be close. Got both the claws. It's like the perfect net because they get all tangled up in it, which is what you want. Come here, you. You go five. I'm going to say yes. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Get back here. Where you go five? Nah, he's just a little short. I mean, just a little short. Barely. So we're going to toss him out that way. There goes another one. Here comes another one. Good grief. Got him. Beautiful claws. Gonna be real close. Ah! No, stop. Get back here. 
but the points on this are like super long. I got really lucky here. That's like five and a half. Another keeper. And both claws. I love that. Guys, I just had a crab drag my trap down into the depths. He came up for the decks, grabbed it, and now I can't find my pot, or I can't see my trap. Hopefully it's a good sized one. Let's see if he'll hang on to it, if I can pull him up. He'll hang on to the trap. How greedy are you? Oh yeah, he's on there. Oh, there are two of them. Look at that. Got him. <laughs> Super greedy. Both those might be keepers too right there. Look at that. Oh yeah. I bet that one's a keeper right there for sure. Bet this guy's a keeper. Come here, you. What are we at? What are we at? That is... Oh yeah, that's almost six right there. Where'd your friend go? Oh, he's over there. Come here, you. Good grief, guys. I, you know what? I don't know why we put pots out. We should have just been doing this. Oh, yeah. That's an almost sixer as well. Woohoo! What do we have? Two, three, four, five already? I've only been doing this for like 30 minutes. Good grief. New spot. Oh, uh, way overshot that. Right there. That's perfect. Perfect. Look at that big boy right there. Another one. It doesn't take any time at all. I guarantee you that's a keeper too. I mean, within if I if I don't have a, cr a crab here within about a minute and a half, I give it maybe three or four minutes total, and then I move. I mean, that's just. Come here, you. Come here. Gotcha. <laughs> Look at that. Another decent crab. Woo. Look at that. That one might go six right there. And yeah, she does go six. And I think that's number six. Two, four, five, six. That's probably the biggest one so far. Good knit. I was hoping that this was gonna work. I didn't expect it to work quite this well though. I mean, this is awesome. I know a lot of people like do like the hand lining for them, but in my opinion, this is way better because you get to see the crabs come up and grab it and then just get yourself a long net. I mean, I'm literally like five feet away from these crabs and, and they don't even care. They're so greedy. In fact, I got two more down there already on it. I just plucked that one big one off and there are two more now. Uh, one of them might be a keeper actually. We'll leave it here for a couple more minutes then we'll just move it up again. y'all right, tides up a good bit a lot of this grass now 
kind of in the way, making it difficult to find any spots that I could like stop and set the bait in. So I think we're gonna call it. Let's go back and uh, check our pots. See if we get any bonus crabs in those, but I, we've got a good 14, 15 crabs. That's more than enough. I'm pretty excited. Man, what a fun afternoon this has been. That was awesome. kind of funny I have so many crabs like I'm kind of neither here nor there if I have anything in these it'd be fun to have like some stone crabs maybe but uh it's not uh not required that's for sure for good good eats got any bonus crab for me oh my heavens look at that yeah oh my gosh that's the biggest haul to date shoot dead gum how many we got in there two four six eight ten twelve fourteen fifteen sixteen oh my lord of mercy a lot of small ones in there there might be a few keepers in there though ah! yeah, i should have probably put my shoes back on don't want my tootsies to get pinched that's gonna be short i guarantee you that short guarantee you that short that's weeds He's short. He's short. He's sh yeah, get back here. He's short. That might be a keeper right there. These two right here. Now nah, he's short. Hey, yeah, a lot of little ones. Let's see about this one. That yeah, he's short. Goodness, batting a thousand on small ones. Guys, I don't know if there's a single keeper in here. If any of them, this one might be, and there might be one other one. No, okay, all right. Just look. You might be going back anyway, so just cooperate. We'll get this over with, huh? Hey, there's a keeper. We got one. Oh, hey, don't get back. And let go of my shoe. That's a nice crock. Give it back. Come on. Thank you. There we go. No, too short. Got Shorty McGee going on. It's fun pulling up a lot of crap. Whoa. <laughs> but if you got none that are keepers, kind of pointless. Another short one. Good grief, what did we go? Like one, how many do we have? 15, 16? One keeper. <laughs> Close her back up. May as well let her soak overnight. You never know. There we go. Here we go. I got a mess in this boat. I got to clean up tonight, that's for sure. Let's see. That first one was full. The second one has one. <laughs> what? Okay. That makes absolutely all the sense in the world, right? Let's try right here. We're on the other side of the bridge. We'll see which pot does better. Away with you. All right, we'll check those when we come out first thing in the morning. Let's go ahead and get on back to camp and get some supper. I'm hungry. We're gonna get this first batch boiled up here. Uh, I've got some neighbors at home that said they'd like some crab, so we're gonna boil them up and then stick them on ice, bring them back for the neighborhood. I'll probably end up eating a few myself this evening as well. This is a good fare right here. Get off. Let's see how our water's looking here. Sounds like it's boiling. Oh yeah. Instant death with that kind of hot water. Ooh, just barely. Just barely got everybody in there. Little hot tub time for everybody. I kind of doubt they would call it that, but whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, it's laundry day at the beach. I don't have dish soap, or I, I don't have laundry soap, so we're using some dish soap. <laughs> Hey, you do what you gotta do. This shower has hot water. I'm gonna just get ourselves a little hot water here. Hey, even at the beach, we gotta try to stay somewhat clean. You know what? I'm gonna wash this shirt too. Pardon me a minute. There we go. Let's check on our crab here. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Got about five minutes left. 
We gotta try a couple of these this evening right now. Ooh, that's a good one right there. There's a big one. Give me a couple here. Give me a couple. You know, give me three. Give me three. Let these guys cool off a bit right there. Let those keep soaking in that juice. Get into the meat. But in the meantime, got a little butter heating up. Get after a few ourselves for a little late evening snack. That's a good size claw right here. Ooh, look at that. That is some good, I'm trying to extract it all in one piece. There we go. There's some good claw meat right there. A little butter. Oh man. Mm. As far as seafood goes, crab is right up there as one of my favorites. Just, just quality. I love the texture, I love the taste. Just hits me right in the taste bud feels. Mmm, delicious. I'm kind of having second thoughts about saving this for the neighbors. Maybe I'll just go home and tell them we had an unsuccessful trip to the coast. Well, we're gonna get cleaned up. Sorry, y'all, no shower scenes in this video. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get cleaned up. We're gonna get some rest and then uh, we're gonna just go hit it again tomorrow. Check our pots and then I think I'm gonna do some uh, fishing in the afternoon. Probably get after a few more crabs as well. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna flip our flapjack here. Oh, oh, geez. Okay, let's try it again. Dang it, this thing won't stay down. This pan folds. Well, it's a problem when trying to flip flapjacks, apparently. Here we go, here we go. I'm feeling confident now. Oh, geez. Oh, man, I just executed the double flip. Yes! We got our jacks flapping now. You know, let's just call them pancakes. Check that out right there. That is a way to start a morning. You know, it's not very many fishing mornings. I get to start off mm, with pancakes. That's usually a treat at home. Kind of a nice break from cookies and beef jerky. <laughs> Gloves are coming out, ladies and gentlemen. That means it's time to check some traps. So confession, I actually ended up eating about nine of those crabs last night. <laughs> I didn't limit myself to three. So we definitely need a few more if I want to eat some later and bring some back to the neighbors. Well, we definitely got crab in there. Oh, we got a few keepers. We got at least two in there, I'd say. What do we get? Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven total. That guy might be a keeper. Dang it, if his end, his sharp end is broken off. If it weren't broken off, he'd be a keeper. He'll go back, he'll go back, he'll go back. This guy's a keeper out right here. That's a decent sized one. He'll go in the pot. I'm starting to catch enough of these now where I can just like look at them and tell what's a keeper and what's not. Nice, two out of what, seven, six? That's not bad. To the next pot. This side, well, we got crab in there. Ooh, we got another keeper in there at least. Maybe a couple. Let's see, two, four, five, six. So about even. Looks like we only got maybe may, one keeper for sure, maybe two. We'll double check. Oh yeah, that's five and three quarters. Too small, too small. Let go of my cords. We'll measure you. Nah. That guy's missing his tip too, I guarantee you that'll be too small. Hey, hey, no, no, get back here. Oh wait, we got two of them down here. This guy might be close. Uh, you might be able to get away with that, but we won't. We'll get a few more today. That guy's gonna be too small as well. There you go. Well, y'all, not too bad. Start out with three this morning. I feel like those are free crab right there since we didn't have to work for them, really.
Alright guys, I think I want to start doing a little fishing this morning and I found looks like a colony of fiddler crabs right here which is what we're after. So fiddler crabs hang out in colonies and so where you find them you'll find a ton of them. Ooh, we're gonna have to get a little muddy though if we want to do this. Ugh. I don't know what kind of knot that was. All right, let's get some crab, SpongeBob. Ha, ah, here's one. Yeah. Here's one. Got him. There's one. There we go. There's two. That's not your home. You have to come with me. There's a nice one in there, it looks like. Oh, a couple nice ones right there. That's a big one. There you are. Shoo! Look at this. Check that out. I'll bet we got about 20, 25 in there. That's enough to get us fishing. Oh, I gotta get cleaned up first though. Let's try to do that before we get back in the boat. Mud on air thing. This mud is sticky too. Unforgiving. Tell you what, another reason to have this kind of boat right here. Cause you know what, you get a little mud on it, bump it up against a muddy bank, tie it up to a muddy bank, all that kind of stuff. You know what, just take it back, get the hose out, hose it down, grab a scrub brush, scrub it out, you're good to go. All right, y'all, check it out. We are at our fish spot. Let's see if we can add a little fish to our supper tonight here. Who wants to go first? You look like you're a willing participant. Probably not willing, but looks like you'll do. There we go, just like that. All right, rinse them off a little bit. There you go. I just have a little split shot, pretty heavy split shot, one of the bigger ones. And then about two inches down, got our size two hook. And we are ready to go. Let's drop it down. Got some good cover here. I'm trying to get some sheep's head, but anything will eat a fiddler crab. So we might get redfish, could get flounder, heck even trout. I've just got it right on the bottom. Got him. What do we got? Oh, we got a little redfish. A little redfish to start the afternoon. Like I said, anything will eat these, which is kind of fun to fish with them. Like I said, a little bit of a, bit of a finicky bait. Um, as far as to catch and thread on and everything, but you know When everything will eat it It's kind of a good bait to use in my opinion There's one Come on Oh, I missed him. Oh, somehow my crab is still on. How did that happen? That didn't happen very often. You get a bite and he leaves the crab There he is got him got him oh good fish good fish what do we got here what do we got here Ooh! oh my is this our sheep's head oh yeah big sheep's head big sheep's head yes come on oh yeah that might be a keeper right there they gotta be 14 inches in south carolina to keep come on come on oh. come on baby yes yes Oh, it's gonna be close. That's kind of a thin one. Wait, 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 wait. Is this a black drum? Hold up. That ain't a sheep's head. Guys, I think that's a black drum. I ain't never caught a black drum before. Well, now I gotta look up the regs on black drum. I don't know what size they gotta be. This, ladies and gentlemen, is high adventure video history. Never ever have I ever caught a black drum before. Let's look up how long you gotta be. Boy, that gave up a good fight. They could keep him 14 to 27 inches. Ooh, that's gonna be close. He's gonna be real close. He's croaking at me. You hear that? <laughs> that's cool. Come on. Oh, baby, are you gonna stretch? Oh, <gasps> dude, it's 14. It's actually like 14 and a quarter. Look at that. 13, 14. That tail's over. That nose is on the edge. You know, I got a second one right here. We'll just doobly check it. Oh yeah, 
Oh, dude, that's tickling 14. Actually, if I lay the tail like that, it's like four, almost 14 and a half. We got a caper. We're gonna eat black drum for the first time. <laughs> everything, what was I telling y'all? Everything likes that fiddler crab. Kind of a pain in the butt to catch and all that kind of stuff, but you know what? You get anything and everything. That's, that is the fun of fishing with that dadgum fiddler crab because you never know what you're gonna pull up. I thought, I saw the stripes and I thought, oh yeah, we got us a sheep's head, but nay, nay, we got a black drum. All right, you know what? Let's go ahead and get our aerator turned on here. I'm sure the crabs are appreciating a little fresh water as well. Man, only took like, what, we we're just two crabs in. There we go. They're good to go. <laughs> oh man, that is so cool. I love fishing in the ocean. Let's get another one here. Come here, come here. Oh, he almost got me. All right, fine, we'll grab one. Grab one without claws then. Drop him down. What in the heavens? I caught a toadfish. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what this is. I caught a toadfish on my toadfish. That's awesome. There you go. We caught a toadfish on our toadfish rod and reel set. That's what I call ironic. There you go. I wonder if those are good to eat or not. Another toadfish, my goodness. Well, there you go. Not what we're after. Just proves the point once again. Anything will eat a crab. Even me. There's one. Got him. Right as I dropped it down. Good fish right here. This might be our this might be our uh, sheep's head. Might be our sheep uh, this has gotta be a sheep's head. Yeah, good sheep's head. Good sheep's head. Come here, baby. Come in. Come on. Boom! Yeah! Boom! Sheep's head! Now I don't know if that one's gonna be 14, but man, that was immediate. Look at that right there. Woo! Yeah, right as that got down there. Look what that hook got. Right like uh, on the other side of those teeth, like on the upper part of the lip. Here we go. That's awesome. That's a beautiful looking fish. Such a crazy fish, like all the spines along the top. Ooh, makes you leery, that's for sure. Let's measure up. I'll bet she's like 13 would be my guess. Yeah, she's about 13, ouch. Ooh, see, spine got me. She's about 13 and a half inches. 13 and a half inch, beautiful. Sheep's head. That's a fun catch. They fight really good. Like they, they just like pound their head. You know when you catch them. The redfish like the sheep's head just boom, boom, boom. That's pretty. That's pretty. We'll let her go. There you go. You'll be all right. There she goes. Oh man. Those fiddler crabs catching everything. All right, y'all. Let's go see if we can get a few more crab just to round the day out. That was fun just to take a break from the crabbing and catch a few fish and my first black drum. I'm excited. Check that one off the list. Got like some oyster beds right around here. So we're gonna try right around the oyster beds a little bit. There we go, right there. Nice. That one might be a keeper. Come on, slack off. I got you. Back flipper good, didn't it? And the verdict. Verdict is keeper. Nice. There's an, oh, get back here. Another one. Ha! First crab with the hand line. Had a nice one, pull it down. Looked like a nice one anyway. Oh, he's this dude's taking it with him. Let's see if I can bring him up. Ha, got him. Nice. Oh, I see more down there. I see more down there. There's a decent size one right there. 
Well, <laughs> he's got a hold of my tongs. Come on. Come on. Let go. There we go. There's a good crab right there. I don't even have to measure that one up. I'll bet that's six plus. Another good one for the pot. All right, y'all. I think that concludes the crabbing portion of the day. We've got, I don't know, how many did we end up getting? I think, well, I can't tell because of the bubbles. Ooh, look at that one right there. I think we ended up with seven plus the black drum. Man, we got some nice ones too. Got some real nice crab in there. Awesome. Let's go ahead and head on back. I actually have to pull up the pots as well. We tossed them back down, so maybe we'll get a few bonus at the end of the day, and then let's go go fire up the uh, hot plate and uh, go eat some crab and some black drum for the first time. All right, y'all, I'm back at the home camp once again. Check this out, though. I think I counted 15, 15 blue crabs. So not a bad afternoon. I actually ended up getting like five more keepers in the traps when I pulled the traps up uh, after we did the hand line fishes. So we got a nice cooler full. That's definitely enough for us. And now we've got some to bring home to the neighbors as well. I've just got the boil going again, like what we did last night. Got the water rolling, so we'll go ahead. Actually, we're gonna drag this on the wheels over this way to make it a little easier. I think that's the biggest one right there. I need my other tongs. These tongs are too short. I'll just go right in. Boom. Let's grab the other ones because I'm going to get pinched. It's all right. I've got a nice little hot tub waiting for you. Look at that guy. Look at that. He's like, I'm bringing you down with me. You're coming down. Sorry, buddy. Okay, guys. So I dunked this one in. <laughs> uh, the claws just came off. Make sure we find those at the end of the boil all right y'all it is time to i think we're just gonna fillet a little black drum we have our crab Ooh, look at that coming to the surface we're gonna let that soak in that seasoning while we fillet here i'm assuming just kind of like anything else there we go there we go man i'm really excited to try this like Interested to see how it tastes. I think we're just gonna hit it with some salt and some Old Bay. Maybe a little pepper as well. I don't know. I don't think we're gonna get too fancy. There you go. There's one side. And this is just that was this is just barely a keeper tree. This is like 14 and a quarter. I'm gonna lay them in a little oil. Like that. I'm gonna just do a little Old Bay here. Crack a little sea salt and some parsley flakes because why not? We're classy here at High Adventure Videos. Y'all look who's joined me. One, two, three. <laughs> three tomcats. Yeah, y'all smell fish, don't you? They're like, we want some fish and crab. Probably get a lot of fish and crab around here. Plenty of fishermen on this island. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There is the spread, obviously. More to eat. Bring some home for the neighbors. But that, ew, stay on there, claw. That is what we eat. In fact, look at that claw. That's a good sized blue crab claw right there. I am extremely excited to try this, though. Let's go for the black drum. Smells good. It's saltwater fish. It's delicious. Look at this. Who says the butter is just for the crab? Right there in the butter, dripping off. That's out of bounds, is what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, black drum. Oh, that's top shelf. Oh, and that's why you don't talk with food in your mouth right there. My mom is going to call me up and be like, son, you chew first, then you talk. Let's crack into this crab here to finish things off. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. Woo! Let's see, can I extract it? There's a little, it should all just come peeling right off of that. Oh yeah. Oh, a little bit of meat still right there. Mm. Oh, and right there. Dredge it around in that butter a little bit. Oh, look at that. Mm. 
that's the best way to eat the crab right there, in my opinion. Or at least the best way I've eaten it so far. That blue crab is like naturally sweet. So just dipping it in butter after it's boiled, that is, that is just delicious. I mean, we just have so much good food, all fresh, mm, right out of the ocean that we caught today. It doesn't get any better than this. This is what summer is all about right here. Heck, any time of the year, this is what this is about right here. Oh, what a phenomenal last two days on the coast this has been. I think the most fun that I had was, well, the black drum was a, was a big bonus, but being able to catch the crab, like kind of how we planned, putting a plan together and then actually it working, <laughs> that was pretty sweet. There's just something fun about crabbing. I don't even know what it is. Just crabbing is just a lot of fun. I don't like, I can't even like put my finger on it. They're delicious to eat. And it's just fun to see those little guys like scuttling around and especially like sight fishing for them. That was a blast. Thank y'all for hanging out with me the last couple of days. Hope you guys had as much fun as I did. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. And as always, I will see you in the next one.